Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all doing great. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the stuff that I found at the Goodwill outlet. I was there for 4 hours, so if you guys ever do go, I recommend taking heavy duty gloves, some hand sanitizer, a fanny pack so your hand will be free, and put your hair in a low ponytail or low bun, because if you put in a high bun, you're going to have a lot of headache. But, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the stuff that I got. So I pick up these vintage Kevin Klein jeans. They are size 10. I think I'm going to be cutting these into shorts because summer is almost coming. And I pick up this really cute large We the Free from Free People top. It has some button downs in the bottom. And I think it will be so perfect for the summer. I did pick up a lot of denim, so I'm, gonna, I'm not sure if I should show you guys all, but oh well. These are 550 Levi's shorts, but I'm going to be distressing them, make them look more cuter and more wearable. Then I pick up this graphic tee from Lucky Brand called Kiss. These Levi's jeans, they are 5, 550. They have the orange tag, and these are super rare. These are also short. And then I found another orange one, but this one is the 560. And I really like the little white wash jeans, because I feel like when you just dress them, they will look really nice. I got another Kevin Klein jean. These are size 6. I kind of feel like bleaching them, so I feel like they will look nice if I bleach them. Since they're going to be trending for 2019. And then these are already like folded. On the bottom. And then I pick up this junk food. The Beatles graphic tee. And it's already like stitched folded, so you don't have to fold the sleeves since they're already folded for you. And this is the size large. Another Levi. These are five, 550. I'm going to be cutting these. And they're a little too wide. And then I pick up this lululemon top blue and white stripe then i never sold this brand before but it was 100 percent cashmere and it's from peter Mailer's size medium and 100 percent cashmere is really expensive so i've been seeing a lot of stuff like if you find like j crew or vint they've been selling for like over 50 dollars between 50 to 100 dollars for 100 percent cashmere and then I got this North Face sweater. It's pink and it has the holes on the thumb. So you can wear it when you're hiking or if you're running. So the another thing that I picked up, I wasn't sure if I wanted to take this. Because it says Liberty right here and it's from Pataganga. And I met this lady and she was like, if you don't pick it up, I'm going to pick it up. And I was just like... No, I think I'm going to go ahead and take it home with me. And she's telling me, like, good, because if you don't take it, I'm going to take it. <laughs> then I got these Kendall and Kylie denim jeans. They are size 27, and they're fried from the bottom. So I feel like these will look really cute with some boots. I wasn't sure what um, brand was, this was. I never heard of it. It's from Laura Brooke Cheese. And it's 100% silk. Well, I don't know if it's 100% silk, but it feels like silk. And it, I searched it up. It was made in Italy. It's the print. It has some birds on the side. And I would like to wear this for like on your hair as a headband, or you can put it on your purse. And accessorize it, make it look cute, you know? Then I got these Levi's 511, 27 by 27. Thinking about bleaching these because I don't really like this color. Then 
then I pick up this J. Crew puffer jacket. It's a size large. Extra large. And the cool thing about it, it has the zippers on the side so you can um, take off the zippers and wear it as a vest. On these Tommy figures, they are vintage, they're extremely large, and they're a little thin, but I feel like that's okay because I want to like take them and make it into like a little denim skirt. So yeah, I can't wait to get a sewing machine so I can start making some denim skirts and make some skinny jeans more flare, like more slim fit, the men's jeans. And reconstructing and all that fun stuff. And this is the 560 Levi's. One of my friends told me to pick up Levi's 501, 505, 500. Because she said those ones are like the most popular ones. But I feel like if you pick up any vintage jeans, like high-waisted, I think they would do good. I feel like they would look good and cute and wearable. I got this Levi denim jacket, size extra small. And then I pick up another vintage polo from Laugh Lauren. I think these will be like the perfect mom jeans. You can tell they're gonna be high waisted. Another Levi 505. They say that 505 are super rare, but I haven't done much research to be able to tell. These are not vintage, these are Levi's 511, 28 by 28. But I picked them up because they're black, and then I feel like if I bleach these, they will look so cool with the black and the white. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how they will look bleached in my next video. And then the last jeans I got for today was the Blue Gap jeans. I think these will also be perfect mom jeans, so I probably will leave these alone. Look how slim fit they look. And they're super like high rise too. I'm gonna pick up a backpack from North Face. I think it's a hiking backpack and you put your water bottle there. And then the last thing I got was these Tory Birch Miller sandals. They're size 7. I disinfected them with barbicide so they look kind of um, wet. But I'm thinking about taking it to a place where they can repair the, le the weather, I mean the leather, to make them look more new and more fresh. They're a little bit worn on the bottom, but I think they still would do well. But yeah, that's all I got for today's haul. If you guys really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!